So let's go ahead and start playing around with Bard for this first example. I'll be asking you to write a marketing plan for a new salon opening in Toronto that wants to acquire new customers cheaply. The reason why I chose this prompt was I wanted to see if Bard will be able to give me a very in-depth and very nuanced content. Like I would get on ChatGPT. So I made sure to enter a demographic, a specific industry, and what they would like to do. So this is the marketing plan in which we got back. Number 1. Create a strong online presence, offer discounts, partner with other businesses, attend industry events, get involved, provide excellent customer service, keeper prices, competitive, okay. So these are good tips, I would say overall, but I wouldn't say that it's a marketing plan, right? A marketing plan would include different strategies. It would include a budget, it would include specific steps that you can follow in order to execute on your marketing objectives. So this is a good sort of bullet point that you can use, but I wouldn't say that this is a marketing plan. Alternatively, I run the same input on ChatGPT and this was the output in which we got back. As you can see, it's more of a marketing plan. We get a summary, we get a target marketing, sorry target market, we get marketing strategies. So different strategies that you can employ, you get a budget and a conclusion. So we get a pretty decent output from transcript. But keep in mind that this is only one example, we don't want to just outright. See that? ChatGPT is better than Bard. Let's go ahead and actually give it a fair try and input some other prompts before we enter some new prompts. Here's a couple of things that I've noticed. So it doesn't seem as though Bard is saving our chats. So if you were to leave Bard and log back in, I don't think your chats would be saved because it doesn't seem like there's a feature here. But also, if you scroll down, you also have the ability to Google that search query. So for instance, if you have an input or a prompt and actually want to search it up on Google, you can go ahead and do so. So we're getting some results from Google how to acquire new customers cheaply for a new salon. Okay, pretty good. And then you can head over directly to Google. And if you want to get more information from the web, you can then do more research. So that's a nice little addition from Bard, the ability to turn your prompt into a search query so that you can get more information. And if you wanted to update your prompt, you can hit the pencil icon and that's where you'll be able to change your prompt. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can give some feedback on the output. And you can also regenerate that output. So let's go ahead and regenerate this to see if we're able to get a better output, okay? So I went ahead and regenerated the output and it's a lot better. It looks more like a marketing plan. We see a target market, marketing objectives, marketing strategies, budget evaluation and so on. So we get a much better output from Bard. Maybe the trick is that you need to regenerate or during a couple of times on Bard to get more relevant content, while on ChatGPT, it's able to understand context. A little bit easier and faster. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more exciting tech tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.